Alright, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day so far. So, in about 72 hours from now, Global will be getting our next Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening. And of course, it's going to be for the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who I've been looking forward to uh, for quite some time. Because even before the EZA, he was a monster, at least offensively. And now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he hits even harder. But his defense also got a huge, huge upgrade. So it's a, you know, extremely good Extreme Z Awakening, no pun intended. And in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details you need about the Extreme Z Battle event, as well as the actual Extreme Z Awakening, uh, you know, details to uh, get you guys fully prepared. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we'll start here with the Extreme Z Battle first. So as far as the release date goes, it came out in March of 2021 on JP, and it's dropping on June 11th, 2021 for Global. And the weakness is the Youth category. And uh, from there, we have obviously 30 stages for all the medals, some orbs along the way, some, you know, uh, Elder Kai's, or rather Grand Kai's. And uh, every single stage does give you one Dragonstone, like your standard Extreme Z Battle event, right? Now, after level three, there is additional damage reduction of 50% against extreme type units, which means that you do want to run an all super type team. And of course, for the youth category, it's pretty much a super type focused category, right? So if you're running a youth team, then it shouldn't be much of a problem. But uh, definitely try to stay away from extreme type units because, you know, the 50% damage reduction is pretty significant, right? And then after level 7, there's additional damage reduction of 60% against int types, which makes sense because, you know, Gotenks is Fizz, and also extreme types. And then after level 9, characters that are SSR rarity or lower, it only cause less than 2 million damage. After level 12, there's additional damage reduction of 70% against AGL, int, and extreme types. And finally, after level 19, there's additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL, Int, uh, Fizz, and Extreme. So, um, I guess the point is that you want to bring a team, a youth category team, of either tech or uh, STR type units. Obviously, for the lead, if you have to, you gotta bring, you know, maybe like the Int uh, Kid Goku, for example. So, like, you will maybe have to bring some AGL, Int, and Fizz types, but you won't really be getting much damage from them and uh, as you know much as possible try to bring str types and tech types so you can actually deal some damage right and uh, yeah just going along getting your medals getting your orbs getting some kais and of course as always after level 30 you'll be getting one hercule statue for every clear from 31 beyond right and once it's all said and done after you complete the first 30 stages you'll get a total of, uh, well, all the medals you need to fully extreme to awaken the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, a ton of Fizz orbs, uh, enough to rainbow a Fizz type unit, maybe Go Tanks, maybe somebody else, uh, 11 Fizz Grand Kai's, and 30 Dragon Stones. And then there's also some missions for an additional four Dragon Stones. The first one is for beating Extreme Z Battle within two minutes and 10 seconds at level 10 or higher. You get two more for beating it within 2 minutes and 35 seconds at level 20 or higher. And finally, you can get one more stone for beating level 20 or higher with a character from the youth category on your team. And here's a quick look at the youth category. As I said, mostly super type units, maybe all super types actually. Yeah, I think it's all super types, unless I'm missing something. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. But from what I can tell, it's a fully super type... Oh, never mind. Okay, we got two extremes here. Right, we got the Kid Vegeta, then Raditz, and also the Broly. But aside from that, yeah, it's basically all super type. So, uh, yeah, if you should, if you are going to be bringing a youth category, which you should, of course, because it is super effective, then go with the units in this column right here, or in uh, this column right here, because... All int, um, fizz, and AGL types are going to be subject to that, you know, 80% damage reduction. So they're really not going to be doing 
any damage for you at all, right? And uh, yeah, here's a quick look. So yeah, stick to these columns. And I'm sure if you, you know, really have to, you don't have a youth category lead or something like that, you could do a mono super STR team. And it is, I mean, in my opinion, the best mono type in the game, super STR. So um, you should be able to build a pretty decent team uh, with that as well and probably get through it with no, you know, without too many pr uh, problems, at least hopefully. But there you go, guys. Um, that is essentially everything you need to know about the Extreme Z battle event. Um, and now let's move on to the actual unit, the actual character, and see what he can do with his Extreme Z Awakening. Okay, so uh, here we go. We got the pre EZA details and then the post EZA details. As always, we'll start with the pre Extreme Z Awakening details so you guys can compare the two. So before the EZA, his leader skill is super types, or sorry, super fizz types, key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 120%, or extreme fist types, key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 50%, and he has three super attacks. This was always something that was kind of unique to Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And the first one, Galactic Donut, is launched between nine to 10 key. The second one is Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball, which is launched at 11 key. And then we got Life Risking Blow, which is launched at 12 key. So for the 9 to 10 key super, it caused immense damage and greatly lowers defense. The 11 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And then the 12 key super causes immense damage and raises attack for one turn. So all three of them were good, but the one you wanted the most was definitely the 11 key because of the massively raising attack. And uh, from there, the passive is attack plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 60%, and defense minus 30% for 7 turns from start of turn. So this was the reason why he hit so hard, right? Because he's getting the 120% plus the additional 60%. Unfortunately, though, he did have that 30% defense debuff, and uh, that made him kind of a glass cannon. Actually, very much a glass cannon because... He couldn't take hits at all. He was definitely a liability on defense. Um, and of course, like I said, they did fix that with the EZA. And in terms of stats, when he was rainbowed before the EZA, 15,900 HP, 15,900 attack, and 9,850 defense. Now, moving on to the EZA, leader skill becomes super fizz types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%. And extreme fizz types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. The 9 to 10 key super causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. The 11 key super massively raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, and also attacks effective against all types. And then the 12 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. So once again, all three of them are good, but the 11 key super is by far the best because you get that massively raising attack and also attacks effective against all types. And he is the only go tanks in the game. Let me just quickly review the go tanks before I make a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he is the only go tanks in the game with attacks effective against all types. And then passive is attack and defense plus 150%. Plus an additional attack plus 70%, defense plus 30%, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns from start of turn. Now, one negative, of course, is that this is limited, right? So this whole part of his passive, everything beyond 150% attack and defense, is going to be gone in longer events, which is unfortunate. But... 150% attack and defense to start is already very significant, especially considering his stats um, when Extremes Awakened, which are very good, right? We got 18,672 HP, 18,778 attack, and 11,236 defense. So, yeah, amazing EZA stats, and 150% um, attack and defense to start is very, very good. Now, on top of that, he does get 70% additional attack. 30% more defense and a medium chance to evade. Um, so he's actually like very good defensively now. He's getting a ton of defense, right? Like with support, he should be getting 
you know, around like 200k or so. Maybe a little bit under, but like very respectable defense for sure. And then you also have that medium chance, 30% chance, the dodge attacks. And um, of course, offensively, he's even better, right? Like before he was getting 120% plus 60%. Uh, now he's getting 150% attack plus 70% more attack plus the additional stats. So I'm pretty sure if he's rainbowed, if he got his links, you know, leveled up decently. He should be getting you somewhere between 4.5 to over 5 million attack stat. If you get the 11 key, it's also effective against all types. And he's also giving you some extremely good defense. Um, this is just a great UZA, man. Really, really good Extreme Z Awakening. Definitely defied my expectations of uh, what they would do with him, especially considering, you know, how bad the Super Saiyan 3 Broly got shafted. This is the second Super Saiyan 3 Broly, or Super Saiyan 3 120 Elite Extreme Z Awakening. The only one we have left is, of course, the Goku, who um, I have a lot of hope for because obviously they did uh, do justice for this this guy right here. So, yeah, um, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I can't wait for his easy to come out. We still got about, you know, 30, or no, not 36 hours, uh, 72 to 76 hours to go or something like that. I'm not really sure. Hold on. And I should go back to the main page here. It should tell us exactly how much time we have left. Uh, upcoming cards. Oh, okay, so about 80 hours, actually. About 81 hours to go. But either way, it's soon. It's soon, so I want to make sure you guys were ready for it. And uh, I think with this video, you guys should be good to go. Bring a youth team. Uh, bring STR and tech types. And super, that is super attack, super STR. And that is pretty much all there is to say, guys. Now, one last thing I want to say, actually, before we go, is um, obviously we got this... You know forthcoming um you know safety net update thing that is gonna kill data mining and uh you know some data miners and makers out there are gonna stop doing their thing but on you know a positive note the dokkan wiki will still be around i'm not sure about dbz space i think dbz space might be going but i'm not 100 percent sure but at least for the dokkan wiki it's gonna be harder for them to actually get this information to us but um, they're still gonna be up and running. I guess they'll just be uh, You know a little bit delayed compared to before because they can't get the files directly or something like that, but um, I mean as far as I've heard, you know, they're still sticking around so uh, Big shout out to the people running this website. You know, they're very helpful. We really, really appreciate them of course for giving us this resource and uh, I was very happy to hear that. But anyways guys, that is the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below you guys think about him and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you'll like what you see and definitely hit that big red subscribe button hit that notification bell and uh that's it guys that's all i gotta say thank you so much once again for watching until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video Signing out.